All I have for you is a word. Tell it. Use it carefully. Audiences have never seen anything like this before. It's a swift kind of action-packed adventure movie. There are certainly images that I have never seen before on screen. It's a really hair-raising, high-stakes thriller from an extraordinary filmmaker. To do what I do, I need some idea of the threat we face. Tell it is an espionage story. It's, it's a classic spy story. I grew up loving spy movies, but to make it sing to today's audiences, I sort of felt like for me to really engage with it, I wanted it to have bigger possibilities. Time travel? No. Inversion? Well, the film deals with this concept of inversion, which is the idea that the entropy of an object or a person could be reversed. It's very much cinematic. It's something that you have to see on the screen to fully engage with. Name it and pull the trigger. You're not shooting the bullet. You're catching it. Whoa. I really pulled from and dug into my athletic experience more than ever. The training was paramount. Nobody's ever thrown an inverted punch before, so how, does, how do you make that real life, you know? He had incredibly complex fight sequences. We definitely pushed him to his limits. Nice. It was intense. That's what was so exciting. These moves we've never seen before. I mean, these stunt guys who've been around a long time, they were learning, which was the fun challenge of it all. Well, I've seen too much. Come on, we'll try and keep up. This is my third film with Chris Nolan. You kind of realize when you read it, oh, how are we going to do this? Because he's going to want to do this for real. Chris is really great in that he wants it for real. He wants it in camera. He doesn't want to do CG. I haven't seen a green screen anywhere. Um, we're doing everything in camera. Our method of visual effects is try and do everything without them. It's almost like documentary-like. It's all practical. It's all there. It just pumps you up to know that. And it's extremely helpful, obviously, on a performance level for the actors. I think the audience is always aware on some level of the difference between things that are animated and something that's been photographed. We always take the approach that if we possibly can, we'd like the actors to be in real environments. Well, I was in. I didn't want any stunt doubles. I wanted to do it for the team because it just benefits the film. Everybody was blown away by John Davis' enthusiasm. The physicality of that man is, you know, out of this world. If we hadn't had a performer of such skill and energy, those things wouldn't have been possible to do in camera. Chris, after one of the meetings, he was like, it's going to be hard. He said it just like that. And I laughed, but, uh, you know, months later. Yeah, you were right, sir. It was very hard. Chris always sets the tone. He sets the tone for me and for the actors. The actor on a Chris Nolan shoot is very much, you know, it's very much part of a crew. Do you feel the sense that this is someone who's telling the story this way because that's what he passionately believes in? This man, he just stands there. I don't know how he does it. He's right there. His involvement is more than 100%. He really loves it. He can just keep shooting at the rain's coming down. He's like loving it. You lose the right to complain about anything. I mean, it's a good move on his part. It's infectious. You can't help but to want to keep going and give it your all. Every film, you're trying to challenge yourself because you're trying to give something new to the audience. You do that by building on what you've done in the past. Every production, we have came a step further, and every production has more and more sequences in it that we chose to shoot on IMAX. At this point, they're sort of the workhorse for us, which is really funny, because when we first started shooting with them, it was such a big deal. It's a very imposing camera. It feels very important when you're shooting something on IMAX. There's a nice pressure to it. It kind of makes you bring your A-game pretty quickly, because you know that this film is kind of precious. As I understand it, we're trying to prevent World War III. I'm not saying I'm again here. No. Something worse. The international component of Tenet is very important to the story because it's really about threat to the entire world. 
Chris always envisioned this film as a sort of globe-trotting action epic, and obviously the best way to do that is to actually travel yourself. It definitely plays into the sort of scope of the film. You know, it, it enlarges the canvas. We were going places during the busiest times, summer in Amalfi, monsoon season in India. Prep on this film was really complicated because we were based out of LA and making plans for all these huge action set pieces all over the world. We shut down an eight kilometer freeway for three weeks, had hundreds and hundreds of extras in cars and stuntmen driving on it doing great action. That was the first for me. When will we ever be able to do this in life? You know, to shut down a whole entire freeway. It defined the scale of it. You know, in the end, what you see as an audience is a fragment or is a shot, but you are filming a reality, you know? You, you want to buy into that reality. So in that way, relocation always helps a lot. To be actually in the thing, to feel the thing physically move around you or feel the boat rock under you, it just obviously, organically feeds the truth of a performance. It goes for his sweet spot, which is how do you make great cinema? Not, not just tell stories in pictures, but how do you make the experience of cinema? Yes, you could recreate India in a soundstage or London in a soundstage, and you're not going to capture the essence or the authenticity. And I think being in those locations, the audience gets to experience that. They're going to see that it's not green screen, and they're going to be amazed by it. You want to crash a plane? But not from the air. No, it's so dramatic. Writing the plane crash, I knew I wanted to try and do it in some ways in camera. It read on the page as the most exciting sequence, and I definitely was scratching my head about how we were going to achieve it. One of the first things I asked Chris was, you know, how big do you want the plane? He uh, laughed, and I said, I think I can get you a real plane. I see a plane like this, actually kind of makes you realize what we're all flying in when we're when we're flying. These things are huge. I don't think we tend to get the scale of it when we're just kind of walking in through the gangplank. There was an enormous amount of prep that went into that sequence because we were shooting at a working airport and they're not traditionally, you know, in the business of crashing planes for real. I was like, how are they gonna pull this off? Like there's no way they're gonna crash this thing into that building. A lot of these sequences you kind of read in the script and you just think, yeah, would be cool in a movie. And then you get to set and it's like, yeah, we've got a 747 and we're crashing into a building. That's how we're achieving the 747 crashing into a building. It feels very, very real, essentially because it is real. <laughs> Don't try to understand it. Feel it. With Tenet, I'm hoping to really give the audience a reason for reapproaching action cinema so that they get some of that sense of excitement that I had when I was a kid watching the first spy movies I saw. I'm hoping that this gives people a sort of ultimate cinematic experience. You feel you're being taken through a story, but you also feel you're part of a story. That's what's wonderful about his films. You just get transported into a different world. And that's what cinema is to me. It, it has to transport you. It has to be larger than life. I mean, it's the biggest movie anyone's ever done ever. No one's doing this stuff. And I don't think they ever will again. Nobody can really hold a candle to what Chris does, which is create this epic tale of survival and in it thread an incredibly human story. I think you're seeing Christopher Nolan inspired. You're going into an experience that you never had before in the cinema. It's a brilliantly calculated, precise, controlled, amazing story. That's also completely out of control. Once you're on the ride of Tenet, you're gonna have to really hold on to your seat. How would you like to die? Oh. You chose the wrong profession.